guys. Okay, well, I have, hopefully you guys can hear me. I have the iPad on the ground, um, about 10 paces in front of me. So, wait, let me see if I can get closer. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I've got the iPad on the ground, and I want you guys to see how he reacts to having a saddle be put on him, and what the proper things to do um, when you have a horse that is really, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, not really wanting to be saddled. Um, he, I don't know what they did with him beforehand. Um, as far as um, saddling, they, they had a Western, I'm sure, and they probably just did what other people did and cinched it up really super tight and they go, <gasps> you know, like that. So I ride English, so I have girths. So um, I can actually control how, how easy it is to cinch these things up, so to speak. Um, so I have a couple that I need to test out because I don't know quite the length on this particular saddle. Um, this one here. This one is a Wentec wide. It's a Wentec uh, 500. And it's really, really, really nice. It's got an interchangeable tree in here. You can take out the, um, there's a metal bar and you can take that out and interchange it so you can have a wider area or narrow. Um, this is really perfect for him. The gullet is super, super wide. It's very, very wide. It's four fingers wide all the way through. Um, about three and a half, four here and a very, very good generous four here. So you want to have all this extra space for his, his spine. So, so I need to find out which size girth fits him. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And these ones are really awesome. They are, they're called um, pressure equalization because they have rubber bands on both sides where sometimes um, English girths only have rubber bands on one side. This side, you can do both of them at the same time. This one is also made with a uh, synthetic fleece and it's very, very, very thick. And it's got really great padding and it's made super, super, super well. I absolutely love it. This one is amazing. So here's, here's the brand in case you guys are interested. But I really, I'm excited. So this one is, this one's a 48. And this one is a 40, it should be a 42. Let me see here. This one is a 46. So the 44s were too short. So I figured a 46 or 48, I don't know. These Wintex have really, really, really long billet straps. So they're made to handle the wider horses. He's not as wide as Jarvis, so they're a little too long, but I can't change those ones out, unfortunately. So I'm going to start with him. I probably won't talk too much because I know the, the camera the microphone on this doesn't really work very well. So um, I'll review this film tonight and uh, make my notes like I usually do. So, all right, let's get going. First we're going to put on the saddle pad. This is a really, really nice one. It's a, This one is a trailing type saddle pad where it's got some pockets on it where you can put like treats and snacks and stuff like that. Maybe your cell phone or your ID or whatnot in here. It's really, really pretty awesome. I really like this one. This one's made from Equalogic. So I picked this one up for like $30, I think, a while ago. And it's seen a lot of use.
Now, I always put the saddle and the saddle pad up high on the withers just to start off with and then I move it back because if you put it up normal where you would normally think it would be and you have to move it around, the fur gets all messed up and jumbled up and bent and it's very uncomfortable, especially for this guy that's got really, really long coat. You want to have all that hair laid nice and flat. So he, he let me put the saddle on him and he didn't move around too much, which was really nice. So I gave him a little treat. Um, but usually he wiggles a little bit more. So you'll see him dance around when I start putting up the cinch. The girth. Cinch is Western. Girth is English. Two totally different things. Let's see. Oh yeah. And I've got this one. I have this one too. This one's a little way different than the other two. This one is like a western girth, western cinch, I'm sorry. Instead of the D-rings that are on the ends, it has the English rollers like the English does. So this is actually probably going to be one of my favorites. Um, it doesn't slip, it doesn't pinch, it just it's nice cotton, it's smooth, it's soft. And uh, since I have really good balance in the saddle anyway, I don't really have to tighten it up too much. So I'm going to try this one first. Okay, I'm going to show you this. <clears throat> Come with me, you guys. Okay, so say hi, Mr. Darcy. Say hi to everybody. Say hi, YouTubies. Say hi. Say hello. <laughs> say hi. <laughs> oh, you guys got kisses. Okay, so I've got this strapped up 
and this is at the very top of the straps here and on the other side it's the same place it's at the very very top but I wanted to make sure that it was up on the blanket um, and then when you measure these see uh, he's very antsy already so he doesn't really like this so I'm gonna go slow you don't want to have this much movement in your girth this this girth is a little too long this is a 48 it's very nice it'll be used for the other one most likely because um, I really like how it's nice and smooth and it doesn't catch on his fur. I mean, it, it can split if he wants to. It's very breathable. So if he gets sweaty, um, this will be fine. But this is just a little too loose. You don't want that. So we're going to take that one off. I know. I know you don't like it either. So we're going to take it off. I know I have treats. Okay. I do. Do you like one? Okay, so we're going to take that one off and um, we're going to put the smaller one. So you can go put you guys back down again. And oh, I almost, almost fell over. All right. Okay, come on guys, you're coming with me one more time. All right, looks like it's gonna rain. It's starting to sprinkle a little bit. Um, pardon my hair. So we've got it on this side. This one fits, this is a uh, 46. <laughs> you're gonna have to move over, sweetheart. Yeah, move over just a little bit. There you go. Okay, he wants to see what we're doing. Okay, I've cinched him up very, I, I've girthed him up, cinched him up. It's very, very loose, as you can see, just like the other one. But I still have another hole here on this side, which is really nice, and it's still up on the on the saddle pad. I'll show you on the other side. Hello, Mr. D. Hello, Mr. Butt. Okay, now on the other side, I have a lot more a lot more room. Stop moving, honey. See, he's already moving because he thinks I'm gonna cinch him up a little bit tighter. So I've got quite a few holes. I know it's what? You may not have another treat. No, not yet. <laughs> um, so there's a, it's off a little hole, but that's all right. I'll fix it. I'm not done yet. So I'm going to move the other one down a little bit on the other side, but I think this will 
fit just nicely. Let me see if I can put you down over here. Put you over here on the over by the trailer. I don't know if this will work or not. There you go. You might be able to see what I'm doing. Yeah. yeah, you might be able to see. I mean, watch you move around a lot because you're just so wiggly. Bring you up one more on this side. There. I know, it's okay. There. There. Good. Ah. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I got your nose. Yeah, you can have a treat. Alrighty. So, I don't know if you can see this or not, but I can get my hands through here. And I can just pull it away just a little bit. It's not really super tight, but I kind of like it. I like where it's at. And this is a 46. So I've got one hole left on this side, and I think on the other side I had two. Okay, I had one. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to check the position of the saddle. And I'll, you guys can come with me. I know, you can get it. Now what I like to do, is I like to make sure, I'm gonna put you right here, that I can put my hand right in here. And this, this back portion of the cannel is gonna be kind of right in the middle of his um, saddle pad. So you can't really see it here. And don't, oh, don't forget to pull this up into the gullet here, because you want this away from the withers. You don't want any pressure right here on the withers. So if I look through here, if I have you guys, where's my camera? Look through here. You can't see daylight because the camera, the way the camera is working, but um, I can tell you uh, there's daylight there. And let's see if you can see that through here. See, that's nice and neat. It's right centered, right where it needs to be. And it's padded, it's very nice. And. Uh, it looks good. It looks like it's it's nice and even and straight. So, uh, let's see about getting on him. Oh, it's starting to drizzle. Blah. All right, I'm gonna put you guys down on the ground because I need that mounting block. And then pretty soon I'm gonna have to put you guys away because I don't want my iPad to get wet. Alrighty. Oh, I gotta back you guys up. I know, Jar Darcy, I know. Alright, so thank you guys for sticking by. Let's uh make sure we're in focus here. Okay. Alright, first things first. Take down my stirrups. Make sure they're a good length. I wish I, I don't have a keeper for these. I wish I had a keeper. my handy dandy little um, stepper.
raining. Uh, I'm gonna put you guys inside and uh, you'll just have to take my word for it that uh, it's gonna work out real, really, really well. Cause you can see when I went to get standing up on him, um, he let me get up. So I'm just gonna get up real quick. We'll do a quick little walk around. Um, I might just unsaddle him right now because he's doing really, really good and turn him back out. And then uh, we'll do this again after it stops raining. So thanks for watching guys. See you later. Sorry, I'm just a disaster today.